Okay, let's see what else we can do with the book panel. Uh, let's say, for example, you want all your books, uh, or your chapters, I should say, to start on a right-handed page like this. So right now, uh, chapter one starts on a right-handed page. Chapter two starts on a left-handed page. And chapter three uh, starts on a right-handed page. So let's go to the, to the panel over here. Go down to book page numbering options. And let's select continue on next odd page. So that'll be a right-handed page. Right-handed pages are always odd. And let's check insert blank page when it's needed. So let's say OK. And let's see what happens to us. Oh, it looks like something happened. Uh, now, if you look in my book panel over here, you can see all the documents all end on an even page. So that means that the following chapter will start on an odd page. So let's see chapter two. So there you go. So now chapter two, previously started on a left-handed page, is now starting on a right-handed page. Now let's take a look at our pages panel. You'll see at the end of chapter one, you'll see at the end, a blank page has been added. Uh, at the end of chapter two, a blank page has also been added. Uh, now chapter three didn't need one. And now also these blank pages, you won't be able to get rid of these. So that's something to watch out for. Uh, now also let's say, um, you need to replace a document. Uh, let's say chapter two, there's a new version. We can click on chapter two over here. Uh, go to the menu and say replace documents. So I'm going to replace document with a chapter two, a revised. Actually, it's the same. I just added a couple of extra pages at the end. And also, let's see what happens to our page numbering when we do that. So let's say open. Now that got changed. So now you can see the, the page numbering also changed. So that ends part two. Please watch part three.